Well, over the next 20 or 30 years, I think we're going to go a long way towards eliminating glasses and contact lenses. A hundred years from now, you're going to go into a museum and you're going to see these displays of glasses. The old grandfather will put his arm around his grandson and say, you know, when I was young, people used to use these things to see. Nearsightedness, farsightedness, and astigmatism are all focusing errors of the eye. So if you think of the eye like a camera, the light rays that are coming in aren't being properly focused on the back of the eye or the back of the film like in a camera. In nearsightedness and astigmatism, the curvature of the outside layer of the eye, the cornea, is abnormal. And with laser surgery, we simply change the curvature ever so slightly for the correct focus. When you make a little flap, and do the laser treatment on the cornea under the flap, we call that LASIK. LASIK is the preferred choice because the healing is very, very fast and there's almost no pain involved. And that flap acts like a Band-Aid, so when you don't have the Band-Aid, it takes a little longer for things to heal up. Most people, after they undergo LASIK, are back driving and back to work the very next day. By far, the most common side effect of laser surgery is that you have the procedure done and you're made a lot better but not perfect. In fact, it's quite easy to do what's called a touch-up or an enhancement, which is basically just another procedure to help refine the result. I had LASIK in 1996. Before that, I used to wear glasses and contact lenses, actually pretty thick ones, and uh, haven't used any glasses since. It's been great. When we get into our 40s, a whole other process begins because there's a lens inside the eye that's able to change shape to enable us to change our focus from near to far. And as we get into the 40s, that lens gets stiffer and stiffer, and it's harder for us to change our focus from far to near. There are a couple of options today. One, you can wear glasses that have bifocals. There are also bifocal contact lenses, but for most people today, with today's technology, the bifocal contact lenses don't work very well. You can also have what we call monovision, so you can wear contact lenses where one eye is adjusted for near and one eye is adjusted for far, and monovision can also be performed with the laser. There is a procedure that's being perfected that will actually allow people to throw away their reading glasses. The procedure involves putting four little pieces of plastic into the white part of the eye, it cures the presbyopia, and people who have this procedure can have the eyes that they used to have before they turned 45 and needed those reading glasses.